Welcome to the Nevis Newscast for Monday, June 7, 2021. I am Siobhan Walwyn. We are all guardians of the environment and must play our part to treat it with care and respect. The Honorable Eric Evelyn gave that advice as he made an address as Minister of Environment in St. Kitts and Nevis in observance of World Environment Day on Saturday, June 5th. This year's observance of World Environment Day is under the theme Ecosystem Restoration and focuses on resetting our relationship with nature. The theme therefore encourages us to think of ways we can assist in the recovery of our ecosystems that have been degraded or destroyed by our activities and to find ways to conserve what we have left. Ecosystem restoration can take many forms, including growing trees, greening cities, or cleaning up waterways and beaches. The observance of World Environment Day is not a one-off activity, but over the years has led to the month of June being observed as Environment Awareness Month. Our celebration of the month started on Sunday, May 30th, with worship at the Antioch Baptist Church. Most of our activities for the month have been postponed or cancelled due to community spread of the COVID-19 virus. However, there will still be tree planting and cleanup exercises, as well as the launch of a mascot competition. He also suggested ways residents can help to preserve and protect the environment. Plant more trees. Establish a garden. It could be vegetables, fruit trees, or ornamentals. Organize community cleanups. Organize beach cleanups. Reduce the use of plastics that pollute the terrestrial and marine environment. Stop the practice of indiscriminate dumping. Desist from setting fires. And stop sand mining. Minister Evelyn invites residents to join the Department of Environment on its journey to restore the earth. More information can be found on our Facebook page, the Department of Environment St. Kitts, or at D-O-E-S-K-N. We are encouraging all of you to visit our page, like, follow, and share our content. You can also call us at 466-8535 or visit us at on the third floor of the Burger King building, New Street, Bastia. Minister of Environment, the Honorable Eric Evelyn. St. Kitts and Nevis has extended the travel advisory for travellers arriving from the United Kingdom, Brazil, India and South Africa from June 5th to June 12th, 2021. Persons from the aforementioned destinations are advised not to travel to St. Kitts and Nevis at this time. Entry into the Federation will be denied. Citizens and residents of St. Kitts and Nevis who are arriving from any of these countries must process their travel requests through the online platform www.knattravelform.kn. They will be required to quarantine for 14 days upon arrival, even if they have been fully vaccinated for two weeks or more. The government is extending the advisory in response to COVID-19 variants that have originated in the United Kingdom, Brazil, South Africa and India. The Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis will continue to monitor the developing situation and will provide updates accordingly. Travelers should regularly check the websites for the St. Kitts Tourism Authority www.stkittstourism.kn and Nevis Tourism Authority www.nevisisland.com for updates and information. The National Unity Government celebrated the first anniversary of its second term in office with a Thanksgiving service on Sunday, June 6th at the Wesley Methodist Church in St. Kitts. Prime Minister Dr. Timothy Harris addressed the congregation on behalf of his cabinet. Allow me to start on a note of thankfulness and to extend my sincere thanks to Almighty God for his favor on me, our government, and our beloved people and the Federation of Saints and Nevis. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings and us all, the citizens and residents of Saints and Nevis. As we commemorate our first anniversary of the people's second term mandate, 
to the Team Unity government, we stand in humility and obedience to God's will. My plan with God's grace is to do my very best as a servant of the people, to serve my people and beloved country to the best of my ability. He used the opportunity to thank the Federation's churches for their intercession on behalf of the nation and people of St. Kitts and Nevis. The dangerous and deadly COVID-19 virus hovers, hovers over all we do. Even in our churches, we must observe the COVID-19 protocols like we are doing today and hide ourselves always in God's protective cover. Notwithstanding the setbacks of COVID-19 and the consequential pain, hurt, suffering, and deaths around the world, we in St. Kitts and Nevis can stand on the promise that God is with us through the ages of time. God is sufficient through all of our challenges and difficulties. And indeed, God is sufficient to fulfill all our needs. He also noted that the country's economic sector is now opened up. Over 20,000 persons are at work, and our social safety net is assisting the poorest of the poor. We see signs of recovery in agriculture, in fisheries, manufacturing, and financial services, and we go on and on. Last year, there was no tourism services at this time of which we could speak about as we were in the necessary lockdown to save lives. This year, we are hopefully optimistic about the recovery of the tourism sector. The National Unity Government was returned to office for a second term following the June 5, 2020 National Assembly elections. Still to come... The book is written and presented in a way which provides tons of information and some entertainment. But ultimately, it is designed to be useful and helpful to you, the reader. The details after this break. The Nevis Water Department is getting ready to launch a new app, making it easier for customers to pay online. We've heard all the complaints and the department has made moves, made calls to build a platform that will be easily accessible for our customers. We are getting ready to launch our ePay app. Yes, you've heard right. ePay is coming soon to the Nevis Water Department. Stay tuned, keep your ears and eyes locked. The Nevis Water Department is here to provide you with exceptional service. Welcome back. Former CEO of the Nevis Tourism Authority, Greg Phillip, has written and launched a new book that he's excited to share with travel enterprises. The title, The Truth About Early Birds and Worms, How Travel Businesses Survive and Thrive After COVID-19. The book is written and presented in a way which provides tons of information and some entertainment. But ultimately, it is designed to be useful and helpful to you, the reader. You can read it from cover to cover, then later use it as a resource for information, instruction, and inspiration by choosing the section to focus on to help you in your specific area of need. When it comes to sales and travel, what's really important is the timing of the sales and not the quantity of the sales. So for travel businesses seeking to really and truly thrive after this COVID-19 pandemic, what is important is for them to look specifically at how successful they will be with the early sales. So, survive and thrive, learn the truth about early birds and worms. I'll introduce you to the game of cricket and one of its greatest players of all time. You'll also meet Judge Akak, the most famous man from my village. And we'll find out which sector of the travel industry is the most important. The book is presented in six sections. The sections are travel advisors, public speaking, innovation, relaunch, the future, and the truth about early birds and worms. As a list, they seem unrelated, 
but they are in fact a cohesive set which leads to the truth. The truth about early birds and worms is available via the website www.gregbernardphilip.com. The following is a notice of an employment opportunity from the Ministry of Tourism. Persons are invited to apply for the position of manager of the Nevis Pinnis Park. Successful applicants should be between 25 and 55 years of age, have at least five years management experience, possess excellent communication, interpersonal and team building skills, hold at least a first degree in either biological and agricultural sciences, natural resources management, park and outdoor space management, landscape architecture, leisure studies, marketing or tourism and hospitality, have experience in managing gardens or landscaped areas, preferably have experience in accounting or finance, be computer literate especially in Microsoft Office applications and social media, and preferably have photography and graphic design skills. Remuneration will be commensurate with experience and qualifications. Applications should be submitted to John Hanley, Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Tourism, First Floor Social Security Building. The deadline for applications is June 30th, 2021. For further information, contact Permanent Secretary John Hanley at 469-0051, extension 6443, or 667-1180, or send an email to john.hanley at niagov.com. That's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, thank you for viewing.